Tugboat Island. Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Right, right. Your destination is Chugboat Island. I love to ride on a chugboat. Unfortunately, this island is very foggy, and the chugboats are all lost on the water. That's terrible. The island lighthouse has stopped working. That's why the chugboats don't know which way to go. They need the lighthouse light to see through the fog. Oh, no! We have to help them. Your mission is to get the lighthouse working again so the chugboats can find their way. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Chugboat Island. I wonder where the chugboats are. There, out on the ocean. I see them. Hey, chugboats, over here. I don't think they can see us. Just like Island Owl said, they're lost in the fog. We just have to fix the lighthouse. But where is it? There it is, the lighthouse. But the light looks like it's working to me. True. The light is working, but it's pointing in the wrong direction. It's pointing away from the chugboats. That won't help. What do you think is wrong? Usually the light in the lighthouse turns around in a circle. This light isn't turning. It must be stuck. And with the light pointed in the wrong direction, there's nothing to guide the chugboats through the fog. Well then, team, we know what we have to do. Get that light turning again. The lighthouse is on that little island. How can we get over there? Why don't we swim across? Swim? Um, isn't it kind of deep? Don't worry, Mouse. We'll find another way. Maybe we can ride on a chugboat. Hey, chugboat! Over here! Can you give us a ride, please? But the chugboats can't find us in the fog, remember? Oh, right. Well, if there was some sort of a bridge, we could all walk across. Hmm. I don't see anything we could use to build a bridge. I know! What about an ice bridge? But how would we make a bridge of ice? That sounds impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! Mechanical! At Unicorn Go! Yeah! One ice bridge coming up! She's making ice with her horn! Awesome! I did it! <laughs> yes! Fascinating! A bridge made of ice! Oh, it's solid enough to cross now, but we need to hurry before it melts. Then there's no time to lose. Oh, um... Hey, Mouse, come on. What if I fall in the water? It's deep. You won't fall in, Mouse. I'll be here for you. You promise? I promise. Hurry up, you two. The ice is starting to melt! Hurry! Hurry! We made it! 
thanks, pal. You gave us a soft landing. No problem. Come on, let's go check out the lighthouse. Hurry up, Komodo. This is no time to rest. Uh. Here we are, team. The lighthouse. Wow! Look at the bright lamp. We need to figure out how to get it to turn around. Fascinating. It appears this crank handle is connected to this large cog. But why? Maybe if we turn the crank, the light will turn too. Hmm. Excellent suggestion. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Perhaps this one cog should be connected to something else. I wonder what those pegs are for. And why are they each a different shape? Hey, you guys. What about these cogs? Maybe they fit on the pegs. Hmm. It is quite possible. We just have to figure out which cog fits which peg. But they all look the same to me. Look, the holes in the cogs are different shapes, just like the pegs. Circle, square, and that pointy shape. That's a triangle. Right, I knew that. All we need to do is match the shape inside the cog to the shape of the peg. This first peg is square-shaped. Then which cog should we use? I know. Try the square one. It fits. What's the next peg look like? It's a triangle shape. So that means we should use the one with the triangle. Got it. Perfect fit. I guess that means the last cog goes on to the last peg. The circle cog must fit with the circle peg. But where is one? Up there. But that circle peg is pretty far away. I wonder, who do we know who can reach up that high? Hmm, that's a good question. Who do we know? Wait a minute, I know. <laughs> I can reach it. Behold, the mighty Sasquatch! The Kata Stretchy! like a super duper spring! Yay! You did it! Now let's turn this crank! Uh, it's... it's not moving! We need someone really strong! Being strong is what I do best! Rex! McKenna Strong! Rex do strong stuff. Look, the light is turning. It's working. Keep turning the crank, Rex. The tugboats can see the light. They aren't lost anymore. Yay! <laughs> Animal mechanicals. Mission accomplished. Wow! Just look at them. Mechanic, can we ask them for a tugboat ride? We animal mechanical can! McKenna Matcher Island. Mechanical mission time! Good.
Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes! yes. Your destination is McKenna Matcher Island. McKenna Matcher? What's that? The McKenna Matcher spends her time matching things into pairs. That sounds like fun. I love matching things into pairs. Uh, what are pairs? Pairs are two things that go together that are the same. For example, you have a pair of hands and a pair of feet. My hand and my foot make a pair? <laughs> oh, right! This hand and this hand make a pair. I get it. <laughs> but there's a problem. The McKenna Matcher is matching things that don't belong together. That sounds very strange. It is. Your mission is to help the McKenna Matcher do her matching job correctly. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Here we are! McKenna Matcher Island! <gasps> oh no! Nothing looks right at all! A magnifying glass with a mitten? That's not a match! The McKenna Matcher is having lots of trouble! Animal Mechanicals, we need to show the Matcher what things go together to make a match! Well, I don't see what's so hard about that. Woo! See? The slipper matches up with the skate. Or not. Excuse me, Sasquatch. Let me help out here. This is a job from my brilliant mind. You have to be very clever to solve pairing problems. I'm not so good at matching stuff. Don't worry, Sasquatch. You'll get the hang of it. You really think so? Thanks, Rex. Look! A skate, one die, a slipper, a magnifying glass, another die, another slipper, another magnifying glass, and a flying mechanic mitten. All we need to do now is match one of each thing with the other. Watch and learn. All right, Mitten. You just wait right there while I get the other mitten. We'll never be able to make matches if these things keep trying to get away from us. How can we catch a flying mitten? A flying mitten? I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Unicorn! appears to have made the McKenna Matcher very happy. <laughs> now we just need to round up the rest. Animal Mechanicals, start matching! Magnifying glass. Good match, Sasquatch. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, Yay, unicorn! Hey, everybody! We matched the slippers, the mittens, the skates, and the magnifying glasses too. What's left to match up? The dice! We need to catch the two dice! 
I'm not fast enough to catch them. Someone has to grab those two dice. Someone's super speedy. I'm super speedy. up all the pairs. Now the Mechanimatcher can see how it's done. Great job, team. Mission accomplished. Ah, uh, Rex, does the Mechana mitten belong with the Mechana slipper? What is going on? Why is that matcher unmatching what we've just matched? I wonder why the Mechana matcher is squinting. Maybe she can't see very well. You're right, Sasquatch. She is squinting. How can we help her? Hmm. That's it. Maybe she needs a pair of glasses. I think you're right, big guy. I think she does need a pair of glasses. But where can we find glasses around here? <gasps> this magnifying glass sure makes everything look a lot bigger. <laughs> That's it, Sasquatch. You're brilliant. We could use the magnifying glasses to help the mechanic match your sea. That is a good idea, if I do say so myself. Uh, you know, Sasquatch, it was very clever of you to realize that the mechanic matcher needed glasses and to come up with the idea that magnifying glasses would do the trick. Gee, thanks, Komodo. There, now we have both magnifying glasses together. We just need to figure out how to get them in front of her eyes so she can see again. How will we get them way up there? To get the magnifying glasses way up there, someone would need to stretch very tall. Yeah, someone would need to stretch very tall. Someone would have to be very stretchy. Yep, someone would have to be very stretchy. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's me. I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Big guy. Yes, that was fine work indeed. We could not have solved this problem without you. Thanks, Komodo. If you ever have any trouble matching up pairs, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> now that the mechanic matcher has her new glasses, maybe we could look around the island for more things she could match. Mechanic, can we do it? We animal mechanical can! Cobra Coaster Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Wow. Wow. Your destination is Cobra Coaster Island. I love Cobra Coasters. The way you go up, up, up. 
and then down, down, down. We McCann of Fun. Hmm, more like McCann of No Fun to me. Oh, you'll see, Komodo. Cobra coasters are a blast. But there's a problem. For some mysterious reason, the super exciting Cobra coaster is not working. That's awful. Yeah. Why isn't it working? Unknown. Your mission is to find out why and get the Cobra Coaster working again. McKenna, can you do it? We are all mechanical can! Let's go! Coaster Island! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, Cobra Coaster! Fun, fun, fun! Hmm. I fail to understand what is so much fun about a Cobra Coaster. Komodo, don't you ever have fun? Oh no, I fail to understand the need to have fun. Komodo doesn't know what he's missing. Mm -hmm. Let's try to see why this coaster isn't working. It looks okay to me. Whoa! <laughs> What was that? Hmm, a McKenna banana. Curious. Ah! Whoa! Look! Oh. On the Cobra Coaster! It's a McKenna monkey! <laughs> Aw, he's kind of cute. He may be cute, but I think he's the reason the Cobra Coaster isn't working. Right! <laughs> the Cobra cars won't work until that mischievous monkey stops tossing McCann of bananas at it. We need to catch him and get him off the tracks. Oh no, he's climbing higher. Uh, he's too high for me to reach. Me too. Who can reach way up there and grab the monkey? Uh, hmm. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. I can reach anything. Behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Come to Sasquatch, monkey! Catch him, Sasquatch! He's getting away! Got to stretch some more! I can do this! Oh no! The monkey's way at the top of the coaster now! Even the mighty Sasquatch can't stretch that high! There's no way to reach him! Animal Mechanicals can do anything! Unicorn! McKenna, fly! little guy. I have some tricks of my own, Mr. Monkey. Go, Unicorn! Ah! Hey! Where'd he go? Oh! I see him. He's hiding. <laughs> we will never get him now. Never say never. If someone was small enough and speedy enough, they might be able to catch him. Small? Speedy? That's my job! Now! 
McKenna fast! By my calculations, it is impossible to catch that monkey. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Right. Because when the going gets tough, we, we team up. up. Time for a mechana monkey trap. Mouse, keep chasing him. I'll make sure he stays down here. Sasquatch, you get ready. Sasquatch, readier than ready. where he will not get into any more trouble. Come on, little guy. Time to go home. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Aww. He wants to have more fun on the Cobra Coaster. <laughs> but it is dangerous for a monkey to be on a Cobra Coaster. Not if he's riding the coaster with us. Yay! <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Komodo. It'll be fun. I don't have fun, remember? Wow! Hey! Let go of me, monkey! Shoo! I think he wants to ride with you, Komodo. Oh, very well then. One ride, and that's it. I didn't like it. I loved it! <laughs> that was fun! Mechanic, can we go again and again? Animal Mechanical Cow! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes! Your destination is Puffer Cloud Island, home of the amazing Puffer Cloud machine. Cool! I've always wanted to see how Puffer Clouds get made. That's the problem. The Puffer Cloud machine isn't feeling well, and the puffy pink clouds that usually float in the sky are all sitting on the ground instead. Not good. 
Your mission is to help the Puffer Cloud Machine feel better and get those clouds back into the sky again. Mechanic, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! For Cloud Island. And there's the Puffer Cloud Machine. Poor thing. It does sound sick. I thought clouds were supposed to float up, not down. When the Puffer Cloud Machine feels good, that is precisely where the clouds go. Up in the sky. The mighty Sasquatch will make them go up. Sasquatch, no! You can't just toss a cloud back into the sky! Uh-oh. Wow! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you can't just toss a cloud back into the sky. I knew that. Don't worry, clouds. We'll find a way to help you float in the sky again. Look! That little blue cloud is all by itself. Hey, little cloud, how come you're all alone? Boop, boop, boop. It says it feels different from the other clouds. They're all pink, but he's blue. Being blue's not a bad thing. Come and meet our friends. See? This is Sasquatch, and he's blue just like you. I am? All right, I am. And I'm pink. And I'm yellow. As you can see, I am red. Glorious bright red. I think it's the color of genius. <laughs> and look at me. I'm green. We're all different colors. And it's okay to be different. In fact, it's fun to be different. Feel better, little puffer cloud? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, let's get that puffer cloud machine working again. <laughs> let's see now. To make clouds, the machine sucks air in through this tube. But something is not quite right. Okay now, machine, take a nice deep breath in. Just as I suspected, something is definitely clogging up this tube. Then we need to unclog it somehow. Let's remove the tube and have a look inside to see what's blocking it. We need some kind of big wrench to take the tube off. Who would carry around a wrench? Uh... Nobody. That's who. Uh-oh. Um. All right! You would carry a wrench! <laughs> Komodo! Makata Gizmo! Can a wrench to the rescue! Tool time is cool time! One more turn and... Komodo did it! Now we can find out what's stuck inside. My arms aren't long enough to reach very far. <sighs> Neither are mine. How are we going to reach far enough to find the problem? We need someone who has arms that stretch. Someone who has arms that stretch? That would be hard to find. Uh -uh -uh. Oh, wait a minute. I have arms that stretch. <laughs> Stand aside and behold the mighty Sasquatch. Makana Stretchy. Hmm. Stretchy like a big rubber monkey. Hey, there is 
is something stuck inside. Do you think you can push it out the other side, Sasquatch? Animal Mechanicals can do anything. There's plenty of stretch left in these arms. Sasquatch, be careful. Oh, sorry, Komodo. Mm, that's all right. Sasquatch, you did it! Yeah! It appears a rock block was sucked into the tube by accident. No wonder the puffer cloud machine wasn't feeling very well. Okay, team, let's put the machine back together and see if it works. All right, puffer cloud machine, you're as good as new. That sounds better. It's working! The clouds are floating! Boop, boop, boop. Not all the clouds are floating. What can we do to help these other clouds that are still on the ground? We can't just throw them into the sky. Right, Sasquatch? <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. I knew that. Is there another way to help get the clouds back into the sky? Nope. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for Animal Mechanicals. Unicorn! Mechanicals! going to help get you into the sky, but then it's up to you to float on your own. Can you do it? Bloop, 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 bloop. Awesome! Unicorn is using her magic horn to make wind to blow the clouds up into the sky. Way to go, clouds. Now you're floating on your own. Bloop, bloop, bloop. The little blue cloud still doesn't want to go. It feels too different from the other clouds. Don't worry, little blue cloud. Being different is what makes you special. Yes, we're all different. We each have different powers. That's right. Yeah. What's your special power, blue cloud? Boop, boop. You don't know? That's okay. I'm sure you'll discover it soon. So, are you ready to fly? Boop, boop, boop. Bye, little blue cloud. And remember, being different is being special. Well, the puffer cloud machine is working again, and all the clouds are in the sky. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Yay! Yes! Wait, uh -huh. Look! The little blue cloud is a rain cloud. That's what makes it different and special. Yay, blue cloud! Bloop, bloop. The rain made these pretty flowers grow. Thanks, Blue Cloud. Bloop, bloop. Look! More Blue Clouds! And that means more rain! McKenna, can we stay and play in the rain? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> McKenna Jukebox Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Wow! Your destination is Jukebox Island, where the island beboppers love to dance. Dancing? I love dancing too. But for some reason, the beboppers have stopped dancing, and now they're very sad. Poor little Beboppers. Your mission is to find out why the Beboppers have stopped dancing and to get them dancing again. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Here we are. 
are! Jukebox Island! And look! The Bee Poppers are just standing around! They're not dancing even a little! I bet I know the problem! The Bee Poppers just need to learn some good dance moves! Watch closely, little Bee Boppers. Sasquatch, the mighty dancer, will show you some fancy, dancy dance moves. See? <laughs> um, you might want to skip that last move. <laughs> Maybe you dance better with music, Sasquatch. Did you say music, Mouse? Yes. That's it. There's no music. Bee Boppers will only dance if there's music. No problem. The mighty Sasquatch will now make music. La 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 la. La 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 la. Sasquatch, I don't think the Bee Boppers like that music. Huh? We need to find some other kind of music. But where are we going to find something around here to make music? What about that jukebox? Don't jukeboxes make music? Jukeboxes do indeed make music, Mouse. You simply push a button and... Okay, jukebox. Play some tunes. Huh? No music? Maybe if I push the buttons harder. It's pounding time! No, Sasquatch. It's not a good idea to pound jukebox buttons. <laughs> it's not a good idea to pound jukebox buttons. I know. Hey, team. Look at this. What are those holes for? Aha! Those holes are where music discs are supposed to be. So that's why the jukebox isn't playing music. There are no music discs in it. But where could they be? Beboppers, do you know where the music discs are? Too bad. But at least we know what we're looking for. Three missing music discs. Let's go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Did you hear that? I know that laugh. It could only belong to one mechanic creature. A jive jumper. <laughs> that jive jumper is holding something blue. And round. It must be one of the missing music discs. Great. Hey, Mr. Jive Jumper, can I have that music disc, please? <laughs> hey! Catch that disc! <laughs> another Jive Jumper! And he's got another music disc! Oh dear! Jive Jumpers love to play games. This might be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> the Jive Jumpers throw the discs too fast! We can't catch them! Too fast? Nothing's too fast for me! I'm super fast! Mouse! McKenna Mouse, now let's put these discs back into the jukebox. There are the holes for the music discs. One, two, three. And here are the music discs. One, two. No third disc? Huh. Perhaps the jukebox will work with two discs. It still isn't working. We need all three music discs to make the jukebox play. Where could that last disc be? <laughs> Giant Jumpers! Look! The third disc is on top of the tree. Even the Jive Jumpers can't reach it. Oh, well. I guess the Beboppers will have to learn to dance without music. Come on, little guys. Dance with me. Um, Sasquatch. Maybe someone could stretch way up high. Maybe even stretch while they're dancing. Good point. Stretching loosens the muscles. Stretch while you dance, Bee Bobbers. Uh, Sasquatch, 
I think Komodo means someone could stretch to reach the disc in the tree. Oh, that kind of stretch. Who could do that? Uh -uh -um. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I can stretch like that. Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! <laughs> Music disc. <laughs> the jive jumpers look sad. They want to play with the music discs. But these discs are for playing music, not playing games. Aw, <laughs> oh, maybe a flower will make you guys feel better. Oops, I broke it. Huh? <laughs> look! The flower petal flies just like a music disc. Great work, Sasquatch! The Jive Jumpers are having fun! <laughs> now that the Jive Jumpers are happy, it's time to get the Bee Boppers happy, too! Yep! Let's go get that jukebox playing music again! There! All three music discs are now in place! Oh, no! The cover won't stay closed! Hmm, the bolt that holds it shut is very loose! We need to tighten it. But how? This is a job for... Komodo! Makara Gizmo! Whoa. Nope. Uh-uh. Whoa, how embarrassing. Aha! This ought to do the trick. One mighty McKenna wrench to the rescue! Komodo did it! Oh boy, dance time! Hit it, big guy! It worked! The bee boppers are dancing again! Mission accomplished! Good job, team! Uh, Sasquatch, what are you doing? This time, the Beboppers are giving me dancing lessons! Come on, you guys! Try it! It's fun! What do you say, team? Mechanic, can we all learn the Beboppers dance? We animal mechanical can! McKenna Dancing Bear Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Wow. Your destination is McKenna Dancing Bear Island, home of the famous McKenna Dancing Bears. Those are the bears who can't help but dance whenever they hear music. I've always wanted to meet them. I love to dance. But there's a problem. The nice music the bears usually dance to has stopped playing. Now there are only loud, unpleasant sounds that cause the poor bears to dance very strangely. Not good. Your mission is to replace the awful noise with nice music so the bears can dance gracefully once again. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! McKenna Dancing Bear Island. I don't hear any 
loud noise or bad music. And I don't see any strange dancing bears. <laughs> that really is awful noise. Real live mechanic dancing bears? Aren't they amazing? I think I'll join them. Whoa! Yikes! The Mechana Bears don't look like they're having fun. Woo! Yahoo! They sure seem a lot happier now that the awful noise has stopped. I think we're all happier now that the awful noise has stopped. If only there was some way that we could keep the bears from hearing that noise when it starts up again. Hmm. When I want some peace and quiet, I settle into a nice spot where noise can't find me. That's it. What these bears need is a soundproof fortress to block out the sounds. But there's nothing here to build a fortress out of. These rock blocks sure are uncomfortable. Hmm. Perhaps those rock blocks would make a better bear fortress than a chair. Hey, I just had an idea. Those rock blocks would make a better bear fortress than a chair. <laughs> the mighty Sasquatch will just push, lift up. Gee, these rocks are too heavy for me to move. Nice try, big guy. But I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Rex! McKenna Strong! will be able to hear any noise now. Uh, not again! <gasps> oh no! The rock fortress wasn't soundproof after all. Poor bears! All you want to do is dance to pretty music again. Don't you worry. We'll figure something out. And in the meantime, let's dance! If we can't keep the bears from hearing the noise, we'll just have to find out where the noise is coming from and stop it. Great idea, Unicorn. But how do you find something you can't see? Whee! Ah, the noise seems to come from all over the place. Mouse, maybe you could use your supersonic ears to locate exactly where the noise is coming from. Great idea, Rex. making that noise sure moves around a lot. Now the noise is over there. This is impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. We just need to work together to find that noise. If Mouse can follow the noise with her super hearing, I can fly up and look for what's making the noise. Unicorn!
But mechana bands usually make nice music, not awful noise. Something must be wrong with it. Let me take a closer look, okay, fella? Yes! I see! Aha! I've got it! It is my estimation that the Mechana Band is simply out of tune. Out of tune? How can we fix that? I believe I am the animal mechanical for this job. Komodo! Makana Gizmo! Nope. Uh -uh. Whew. How embarrassing! <laughs> One true and trusty tuning fork to the rescue! Tuning for? What's that? Musicians use a tuning fork to keep their instruments sounding right, to keep them in tune. All the mechana band needs to do is listen to this musical note and try to match it. Dancing nicely again! Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished! <laughs> now that I see how gracefully the bears dance, I'm starting to think that maybe my dancing is, well, not very graceful at all. Well, Komodo, maybe you're a little like the Mechana Band. Maybe you just need a little tune-up too. You know, a little help to dance better. And you've got some great teachers right here. You're right! Fancy dancing, here I come! <laughs> McKenna, can we all get dancing lessons from the dancing bears? We animal mechanical! 